20 years old. I remember, um, I'm sure that Barbara Maramoto was one of our founding members. Uh, I came into the legislature in 1988 and I remember uh, now Congresswoman Maisie Hirono being one of the stalwarts uh, in our body at that time. And you know, we were looking to see how we could increase the number of women in the legislature. And I'm proud to say that on the Senate side, uh, a little over a third of the body of women. And so we steadily upped our percentages and we have to move in as well. So I think this bodes well for making sure that the issues that are of concern to women and impact women particularly are going to get additional uh, attention and hopefully additional uh, enactment so that we can continue to move uh, all of our issues that affect girls and women uh, at whatever age they might be, uh, move it forward. You know, our, our theme is compassion. And I think if you look at some of the items in our package, you will notice that we're looking at things that deal with compassionate care for sex assault victims. We've been working on this issue for such a long time, and I am convinced that this is going to be the year that we're going to make it happen. Because it's standard of care, it's the right thing to do. And if we in Hawaii cannot stand up and make sure that women who have been assaulted have the best possible care available to them as a matter of course, not a matter of geography, then we've been missing the boat. We'll also be looking at a whole variety of issues to help uh, folks with uh, who are victims of domestic violence. And that's one of the, been the pillars of our, our caucus and our package for many, many years, and we keep chipping away at it. You know, we've talked about equal pay for equal work. Well, we want to make sure that there's equal treatment in the workplace and that if an employer is uh, working with uh, uh, an employee who happens to be a victim of domestic violence, that they're not automatically fired as a result. So we've been making progress over the years, but we still have work to do. And I, I thank all of my colleagues on the Senate side and on the House side for their diligence in trying to move issues to the forefront to make sure that everybody is aware we've made progress, we've come a long way, but we still have some work to do. So thank you all for being here this morning to help us launch this wonderful package. Next, I'd like to um, introduce Representative Cynthia Thielen, and I just want to emphasize that our caucus is bipartisan, and two of the, the real rocks of the caucus are Representative Thielen and Representative Marmoto, and we appreciate them very much. And um, so, you'll have a few words to say. I believe that my co-chair, Representative Lee, is referring to the fact that I am a Republican and so is Representative Marmoto. <laughs> that is the bedrock foundation of our House, uh, House and Senate Women's Caucus. It's what's made it work. I've been in it since 1990, uh, Representative Marmoto even longer. But the bipartisanship shows that when people get together, and care about issues and work on them, not because they're in a certain party, but because they care about helping people, then we can make great progress. In a bipartisan way, that happens to be a side um, comment, but we make great progress because we work together. I think we provide the best example nationwide for a legislative women's caucus that is truly effective. I have appreciated so much working with my colleagues, um, and I find that it's interesting. We, we form friendships. I think of former Representative Susie Chun Oakland. We were freshmen together, and now Senator Chun Oakland. And we have bonds that go back so far. They help us move forward with the issues that are so important to our people in Hawaii. I see faces in the group in front of me that have been here for years working on these issues. Some of them we still are trying to get through the legislative process. One is the victim notification system. When a victim is released, uh, pardon me, when a 
um, convicted felon is released, the victim or the victim's family should be notified of that fact and where that person will be. Another one that is a little bit new this year is breastfeeding. And you know that sounds like a no-brainer, but there are so many young women that just aren't aware and haven't been given any guidance whatsoever on the benefits of breastfeeding. It's so important um, emotionally with the bond with the child and so important for the well-being of the child, of the infant. So we're encouraging um, still mostly male-dominated medical schools, but getting better, and uh, the, also the School of Nursing, to be sure to have this be in their um, curricula and so that they can help the young mothers as they move ahead. I know I'm going longer than I should, but uh, I just, I really appreciate how everyone has worked so hard. It's made a big difference. I see Amy there in the front row. We go back to college days, practically, and working on these different issues. It's, it's been a bond that is stronger than partisanship could ever break, and I think that's very positive.
of the Caucasus is quite an honor. Um, I look at who came before me and hear about these um, marvelous women and, and think that um, I'm not worthy. But uh, thank you. I'm truly blessed. Um, I'm grateful for the work of the Women's Legislative Caucus and all that they've done to ensure the health, safety, and welfare of all women. Um, without their tireless work, the PATH Clinic would not have gotten its start. And over 200 women and their children um, wouldn't, would be without their, its services. And our birth outcomes, I think, uh, speak for the, the success of our approach and, um, and the women themselves. Um, there's a couple of quotes from women in, um, in my bio that are just completely make it all worthwhile. Um, I'd also like to thank my colleagues at the University of Assistant along the way um, and been supportive. Um, Dean Hedges, um, my boss, uh, Dr. Lene Savage, uh, Dr. Bill Haming, um, all my colleagues in the OBGYN department who have covered for me when I've been away and had to, to do things uh, with the legislature and um, elsewhere. Um, the, pedi uh, the departments of pediatrics, social work, and public health, and especially Nancy Partika, who's sitting in the front row, who, um, without her um, work and mentoring, um, we wouldn't be here. Um, and thank you to all my wonderful staff. Thank you for coming. Renee uh, Bernadette, who couldn't be here. Uh, Rachel, Juliet, Julia, who's uh, now in uh, law school, and, and hopefully going to be using the talents um, to promote women's issues. Um, Jackie, Helen, Cindy, um, and the countless volunteers who have given so much of their talents and energy. <clears throat> and thank you to my family, my husband. Um, he's provided so much support and insight. And um, finally, mahalo to all the women who have had the courage to come to the PATH Clinic. Um, their willingness to seek help and change for the sake of their children, families, and the community is an inspiration to us all. And everybody deserves this award, so thank you. <laughs> in hearing, if you don't know already, that um, the bill that we have introduced um, for funding of the PATH Clinic is going to be heard tomorrow morning. So we hope that you'll all be there or submit testimony. Um, while Dr. Wright is here, does anyone have any questions for her? Again, there's a lovely bio written by uh, Leanne. Oh, Nancy, oh please. Yeah. Can you just talk a little bit about the measures of effectiveness? How many women served and how many have been clean at the time of the Yeah, we've uh, served um, over 200 women, both uh, pregnant and postpartum. We've had about 120 deliveries. 94% um, of them have been clean at the time of delivery. Um, <laughs> 8% or so have maintained custody, and this is amazing because 50% of the women have lost custody of at least one child. Where is the PATH Clinic? PATH Clinic is in Kaimu Key, um, on the um, grounds of the Salvation Army Family Treatment Center. It's been, oh, I forgot to mention that. That's an incredible partnership I forgot to mention. <laughs> partnership with Women's Way and uh, Linda Rich. And without her, we wouldn't be here. Any other questions for Dr. Wright? Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> yeah.